Hello everyone, I'm Ifa Masamo from purposefulandmeaningful.blogspot.com Today I'll be sharing with us 5 P's to effective Bible study. 5 P's. The first one is pray. Pray and get serious about your Bible study. Of course we probably heard it over and over again, but if we don't pray about it and seriously commit to doing effective Bible study, then I don't think we're going to make headway. So the first thing I'll suggest is Pray about it, get committed, get serious about having your Bible study. The second P is we need to, we need to uh, plan. What study plan would work for you? Do you need to use a devotional? Do you need to use a, a one-year Bible study plan? Or do you need to use a 30-day Bible study plan? You need to figure out what Bible study method you want to use. Sometimes I use a keyword Bible study. Uh, in that case, I mean, for example, I want to study on faith, then I dig into scriptures that have to do with faith, and I study maybe for one week, two weeks, depending on if I'm satisfied with, you know, that particular keyword. Now, the next one, uh, the third one is prepare for time. Prepare your time. Like, uh, every time we, we all fight for time, basically, you know, we fight for time to do several things we want to do. So. For you to do your Bible study, you need to figure out what time will work for you. I prefer early morning. Like, it's beautiful to wake up before everybody else does. Like, maybe 30 minutes before your kids wake up. I think that will work for you, seriously. Uh, maybe you have 30 minutes or one hour, depending on what your choice is for Bible study. Okay, then <laughs> studying at night doesn't work for me because... By then, I'm exhausted and I really, really need to get some sleep, okay? Um, the fourth one, which is my favorite, is pen it down. You need to find a journal, get a journal, uh, get your pens, your colorful pens, if you would, if you would or if you wish. Then uh, it helps you to, to, you know, remember what you're reading. It helps you to focus and lessens the amount of distraction you, you encounter during your Bible study. Uh, Bible study means studying the bible means you, you 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 focus you know you need focus to study the bible you you focus on a particular scripture you reflect and all that so when you write it down it helps you to focus it helps you to reduce or minimize distraction it helps you to remember it helps you to reflect it help, also helps you to figure out what life application does this scripture have for me you know then it uh, one other tip is it helps you draw out prayer points like prayer topics what you figure out what to pray about really from a particular scripture uh, the final one the final P is proclaim you know proclaim whatever you have read will have no effect on the next person except to share so when you share what you have read you also remember that means you're becoming a better evangelist of the gospel and also you are blessing somebody else's lives. So let's take it all together. We spoke about number one. We spoke about uh, you need to pray about it and get serious. We also spoke about you need to plan what Bible study plan would work for you. You need to prepare time. You know, time is what we all fight for. Then the next, uh, the, the fourth tip is you need to pen it down. Get a journal, get some set of pens and write it down. Write what you study. Then the final one is proclaim. I hope this Bible study um, suggestions help you. Uh, thank you.